Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on writing a ratio to a fraction. Now before we start it's important to know what a ratio is and what a fraction is. So a ratio is basically a comparison of parts. A ratio is a comparison of two or more numbers that indicate their sizes in relation to each other. Now a fraction. A fraction represents parts of a whole and the numerator indicates the number of parts and the denominator indicates the total parts to make the whole. So let's have a look at three quarters. Well, three represents that we have three parts and four represents the total parts. So three quarters means we have three parts out of a total of four parts. Now remember, the numerator is the value on the top of the fraction and the denominator is the value on the bottom of the fraction. So now we know what a ratio and fraction is, let's look at a very basic example. Well, here you can see we have four blue counters and two red counters. So if the question wanted us to find the ratio of blue to red, it would simply be four to two because we have four blue to two red. Now, this can be cancelled down by a highest common factor of 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. These ratios are exactly the same, because if you see from the diagram, 4 blue counters to 2 red counters is the same as for every 2 blue, there's 1 red. For every 2 blue, there's 1 red. So it's important to simplify ratios and recognize their equivalents. Now let's have a look at fractions. Well, if the question wanted us to find a fraction of blue, looking at our picture you can see it's 4 over 6. Now cancelling down by highest common factor of 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the fraction of blue is 2 thirds. So now let's look how we've written our ratio and how we've written our fraction of blue counters. Well, the ratio is 4 to 2 and the fraction of blue is 4 over 6. The simplified ratio of is 2 to 1, and the simplified fraction of blue is 2 over 3. So it's clear the denominator of our fraction is formed by summing the ratio parts, which I've simplified here. So in summary, you can see if you were to write a ratio of x to y, if you were to find the fraction of x, that would be x over the sum of x and y. So now we have an idea of how to write a ratio to a fraction, let's have a look at some past exam questions. Here the question says a breakfast cereal is made only using fruit and bran. The ratio of weight of fruit to the weight of bran is 1 to 3. The question then asks what fraction of the weight of the cereal is bran? Well, we know the ratio of fruit to bran is 1 to 3. And the question wants us to find the fraction of bran. Well, we know three parts represent bran, and the total parts is four. So the fraction of bran is three over four. Looking at another question, it states only blue vans and white vans are made in a factory. The ratio of the number of blue vans to the number of white vans is four to three. We're asked to write down the fraction of vans that are blue. So identifying our ratio so far, we know the ratio of blue to white is 4 to 3. Now, because the question wants us to find the fraction of blue, we know blue is 4 parts out of a total of 7 parts. So therefore, 4 sevenths are blue. Part B states that for blue vans, the number of small vans to the number of large vans is given by the ratio of 3 to 5. We're asked to work out the fraction of the number of vans made in the factory that are blue and large. So let's identify what we have so far. Well, we know the ratio of blue to white vans is 4 to 3, and we know the ratio of small to large vans is 3 to 5, and we only want to focus on blue and large vans. So the fraction which are blue is 4 over 7, and the fraction that are large are 5 out of 8. Therefore, finding the fraction of blue and large is simply 4 over 7 multiplied by our 5 over 8. And this gives us an answer of blue and large vans being 20 over 56. Looking at our last exam question, the question states, white shapes and black shapes are used in a game. 
some of the shapes are circles and all the other shapes are squares. The ratio of white shapes to the number of black shapes is 3 to 7 and the ratio of white circles to white squares is 4 to 5. We know the ratio of black circles to black squares is 2 to 5. We're asked to work out what fraction of all the shapes are circles. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. So let's identify what the question wants. Well, the question wants us to work out what fraction of all the shapes are circles. So that means I'm interested in all the circles. In other words, white circles and black circles. A good exam tip is just to basically do one sentence at a time. So let's have a look at this one. It states that the number of white shapes to the number of black shapes is 3 to 7. So I need to work out the fraction of whites. Well, I know 3 to 7 is the ratio of white to black. So that means I know 3 tenths of the shapes must be white. Looking at our second sentence, it states that the ratio of white circles to white squares is 4 fifths. So that means I know 4 ninths have got to be white circles. Now let's have a look at black circles. Well, we know the fraction of black shapes is 7 out of 10. And we also know the ratio of black circles to black squares is 2 to 5. So that means the ratio of black circles is 2 out of 7. Now having this information, we can identify the fraction of circles. Well, we know 4 ninths of the white shapes are circles. So that means it's 4 ninths times 3 tenths. We also know 2 sevenths of the black shapes are circles and we know 7 tenths are black, so therefore we times 2 over 7 by 7 over 10. So to find the total fraction of circles, simply add, because this calculation tells me the fraction of white circles from our white shapes. And this calculation tells me what fraction of black circles I have out of the black shapes. Therefore, the fraction of circles is 12 over 90, add 14 over 70, which gives me an answer of 1 over 3. So the fraction of circles is 1 third. So in summary, when writing a ratio to a fraction or a fraction to a ratio, it's important to know the definition. And it's important to recognize the relationship between how to convert a ratio to a fraction and vice versa. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.